long, red and wriggling. What is that? That doesn't, that's not what we expect. After a bit of shock and just standing there still, we went, it's moving. A scene straight from a horror film. My immediate response was to take it out of my fingers, take it out of my hands, take it out of my forceps, um, and we rapidly put it into a pathology pot where it continued to move at great speed and vigour. Starting out as tiny larvae, the worm had toured the body of a 64-year-old woman from New South Wales, soaking up nutrients and steadily growing larger. Hers had been in her lungs and her liver, but it had now arrived in her brain. The patient's problems started in 2021 with severe abdominal pain, caused by the parasite being in her liver. Six months later, when the worm larvae moved to her lungs, she developed a bad cough. By 2022, the worm was living in her head, causing memory problems, prompting a brain scan and then surgery. This brain worm is a world first. The parasite in question is usually found in carpet pythons, not humans. It's thought the worm was ingested from foraged warrigal greens. When the python poos, some of the eggs from the parasite come out as well. And we believe that some flora, so some vegetation, has gotten contaminated with that. A clinical first with a nightmarish quality. For me, the only time I'd ever see a worm like that would be in the garden. Quite, uh, quite revolting and uh, not very nice. So you have to feel sorry for the poor patient in whose brain this was found. The 64-year-old woman is now reported to be recovering well. James Viver, ABC News, Canberra.